Hello everyone, I'm Harry and welcome to my channel and today we're going to do another How to Sound Like video. This time we're going to try and get the tones on low high by the Black Keys. So before we get started, if you like this Sound Like video at any point, please leave a like, comment and subscribe and hit the little bell notification for me as well. It really does help me out a lot and that way you won't miss out on any of my future uploads. There's going to be affiliate links down in the description to every piece of gear I use in this video and to record my videos. These do help support the channel out further so I'd really appreciate you going and check them out. I should say I didn't manage to find a full multi-track for this, I had to program the drums and record the bass in. So there's not going to be super super close but it should be close enough to hear the guitar tones well anyway so low high is a song of let's rock which is the black keys latest album and this whole album has a lot of cool fuzz tones which isn't a surprise given that it's the black keys but there's also some like octavia style parts that are used throughout the whole album as well so i decided to do this because i recently got sent the tai sky fuzz which is based on a 70s fuzz. And I think it's pretty much the one that Dan Auerbach's famous for using. And it definitely sounds close for this. It's got that spitty, gnarly fuzz tone. And of course, it has the octave on board as well, which comes in handy for the big solo part. So I recently did a full demo of the fuzz by Ty Sky. So if you'd like to see that, there'll be a link up in the cards in the description and pinned in the comments. The guitar I'm using today is this 1964 reissue SG with Monty's Law output here from Bucking Pickups. I chose this because I've seen Dan Auerbach play this live on his SG Custom, as well as Les Paul, but I think Think he recorded it on the SG because he only got the Les Paul recently. The amp I'm using is my Hampstead RT 60 Plus RT, which is definitely one of my favorite clean pedal platform amps. That's running into the Tone King Iron Man 2 attenuator just to knock off a few dBs and then being recorded by a Louis MTP 440 dynamic microphone, which is like an SM57 with a tiny bit more bass. So there's a little bit of spring reverb and all the parts coming from the amp itself, but other than that, it's basically just the fuzz from Ty Sky. So we'll look at the main part first where it has the little riff and then the little stabby chords throughout. So if I show you what the SG sounds like going straight into the amp and then i'll kick on the tie sky fuzz so you can see and hear exactly what it's doing to our base clean time so the sg straight into the amp sounds like this So there you go, you can see what the Tysco is doing. On this part, I have the fuzz quite low, so it's more like an overdrive border lining on fuzz. And then the only part that changes through this is that when it goes to the solo, I engage the octave, so we get that Octavia octave up style solo, and I go to the neck pickup on the SG. So I'll pull out the main guitar track from the intro song, Isolated, and you'll see the settings of the Tysco on screen. And just bearing in mind, when we go to the solo, we've got the octave engaged. <laughs> Okay, so now there's some quiet rhythm parts that are used throughout. So the main part is kind of just following the bass throughout and I actually use exactly the same settings on the fuzz. So I'll quickly pull out that track. Like I said, it's really simple. It's just following the bass pretty much, but it definitely thickens up the sound and helps support the main riffs. So that part isolated from the intro song sounds like this. Again, you'll see the settings of the Tai Sky fuzz on screen as well. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so there's one other part that comes in. I've seen them play it live, and there's a guy on an SG doing these parts, and then there's like this little post-solo bend thing with a big reverb sound. So on the Tice Guard Fuzz, it sounds quite bright on the original, so I pull the tone up and add a little bit more fuzz going on, and that's playing pretty much throughout. And then when it gets to about halfway in the verse, we actually hear a tremolo sound come on. So for that, I was using the Monument version 2 by Walrus Audio with settings like this. Then that gets kicked off when it goes into the chorus. Then one other part is there's like these unison bends with like volume swells. And for that, there's like a big reverb. So I decided to use my Source Audio Collider in the plate reverb setting just to give us that big washy sound. So I'll pull that track isolated from the intro song now. You'll see the settings of the Tice Guys Fuzz on screen. And just bearing in mind, when you hear the tremolo, it's the Monument version 2 with settings like this. And then the unison bends when volume swelling in, we were running into the plate reverb without any tremolo coming from the Source Audio Collider. So that track isolated from the intro song sounds like this. <laughs> So there we have it. That was a look at how to sound like Low High by the Black Keys off their recent Let's Rock album. I'm a really big fan of this album. And like I said, it has some great fuzz ties and Octavia style solos. The Ty Sky Fuzz is actually quite an affordable fuzz, but it sounds really great. And it really nails that old school vintage fuzz tone. And of course, having that octave on board to nail the solo really came in handy. And then for some of the rhythm tracks, having the Monument version too to give us that nice tremolo sound and the big plate reverb from the Collider really came in handy. And of course, using the SG just like Dan Auerbach would have used. Again, if you want to see my full demo of the fuzz, by Ty Sky, there'll be a link up in the cards in the description and pinned in the comments. Let me know down in the comments how close you thought I got to the original song and any future sound soundlight videos you'd like to see me do. If you did like this soundlight video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the little bell notification for me as well. It really does help me out a lot, and that way you won't miss out on any of my future uploads. Other than that, go onto my channel, check out some of my playlists, have plenty more lessons, covers, gear demos, how to soundlight videos, and anything guitar related. As always, I've been Harry, and thanks for watching.